Auckland's Eden Park has hosted so many great sporting encounters. And for the second time, it's the ICC Cricket World Cup semi-final. The co-host New Zealand up against pre-tournament favourites South Africa. And when the lights go off tonight, one of these teams will have their very first trip to the biggest dance in cricket, the ICC Cricket World Cup final. Heads is the call. Uh, that's a head, South Africa won. So head, AB, you've won the toss, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're going to have a bat first today. Why is that, mate? Uh, it looks a good wicket. Um, rate ourselves against their bowling attack and hopefully we'll get, uh, get a good foundation set and then hopefully cash in. Yep, no surprise there that AB de Villiers decided to bat first. The big question was about Vernon Philander, really, whether to play him or Abbott. They've gone with Philander. It's a strong-looking side. But maybe the Achilles heel, the presence of or lack of presence of a full fifth bowler this is the New Zealand team today and they had one decision to make as well they brought in Matt Henry from nowhere really five four, three two yeah game one game on semi-final number one of the World Cup of 2015 Amla on strike Saudi new ball in hand three slips a cover, a third man, and mid-off, a mid-iron, a straightish mid-wicket, and a fine leg. That's what Brendan McCullum has come up with. Let's get it going. A little bit of shape. That'll encourage Tim Southey. That's the link, and the Amla. Didn't resist the challenge, no timing. Good start. A maiden for Tim Southey, right on the money. South Africa yet to register. Well, oh, that's good shape. Great shape from Bob. And good carry. See where Ronke took that too. It really did zip through. Good shape, good swing. From Guptill, it's four. Terrific line and length again from Bolton. De Kock has a little luck. And they're the things you need in any time, but uh, especially in big finals, just those 50 50 things to go your way. An element of luck. McCullum's got three slips, that's just a bit wide. And behind the batsman, De Kock, it's only a 45 metre boundary. Edge and down. Ronke puts it down. Second boundary, streaky boundary in the over in New Zealand have let the first one go by. Wow, that was a good delivery. It got the edge too. We're just talking about should there be another slip. Bolts all over to Cock. It was a big nick. It went fine. Ronke to his left. It looks like it was in between the keeper and slip. It was the keeper's catch. Straight up. Straight up. Could go to hand. No! Goodness me, it looked as if Trent Bolt had that sorted. And in the end, he just couldn't get to it. Some nervous time for South Africa. Short delivery, a good one from Saudi. And the right came through at the right height to Hashim Amla, who was unable to control it. Oh, another nick. At boundary, too straight. And Amla's too good to miss out on that one. Trent Bolt, the patience continued, he's bowled beautifully so far in his first over, should have had a wicket into his second over, he's got the dangerous Amler out, he gives that calmness to South Africa, well bowled Trent Bolt, Europe on fire. Amler's gone for South Africa, it's a big one for New Zealand, he's gone for 10 and it's 21 for 1. Faf Duplessis is the new player for South Africa. Brilliant player. ICC ranking of number 21. Good a strike rate at 84.6. So he's a good foil if you lose an early one, and South Africa have done that.
tried to York and just missed it, but the Duplessis has played it extremely well in the end. End of the over, event for one, again 25 for one after four. Now De Kock, he's going to find third man and he's got Jim Southey didn't have to move and De Kock pays the price. Well the first sign of real aggression we've seen from Quinton De Kock advancing down the wicket. You can see how disappointed he is to have failed. He's struggling to get himself off the park. Inzuma Mulhark like. Disappointment. Probably there, he just came leg side of it a little bit, swung hard at it, and you're right, Alan Wilkins, Southey, did not have to move an inch. There would have been some nerves underneath it, I'm sure. But it's uh, Quinton de Kock who goes. Trent Bolt has another. He's out for 14.51 for two. New man who's come into bat is uh, Riley Rousseau with an average of 34. He's got the best score there of 132. He's gone past him with a beauty. It's all happening here today. Uh, you've got to feel that Quinton de Kock is sitting very really lonely in that change room there. 31 for two off the eight overs. Got to hit them hard. Direct hit. It might well have been upstairs for a referral. It's going to be another over for Trent Bolt. He's edged this one, and it's going to beat third man, is it? Yeah, it's gone. It's four. These boundaries are tiny on this side and the south stand. And Matt Henry. Well, he's come through his first over. It cost him just three runs. Oh, well fielded. Oh, umpire! Brilliant backhand. Brilliant backhand. Oh, there's in swinging Yorker this time, and somehow Rousseau carves it out. Look at the commitment here of these Black Caps fielders, McCullum and Vittori. Still three slips and a gully. Brendan McCullum has applied the pressure. He's given his bowlers every chance. I can assure you Polly's looking for a pinch hitter roll somewhere. 13 gone, 43 for two. And he just drops it a bit short this time, Trent Bolt. So it is a chase for Danny Vittori. Go, Dan. Oh, the old general got there. little bit short not much though but uh, Faf Duplessis rocks back yeah, he's not going to get four by any means it's Danny Vittori again he's going to say hang on lads that's two sprints Danny Vittori's had oh that's a great shot Riley Rousseau just elegantly launching this through mid on Daniel Vittori on and try and hit him out of this small ground. And that might give Vittori an opportunity to pick up a couple of wickets. Or do South Africa just keep playing, keep building this partnership. Oh, that's gone away and gone away from Luke Ronke as well. That should have uh, done a wee bit better there. That's a bonus for South Africa. Oh, lucky, lucky, Riley Rousseau. Good length once again, pitched up, feet wasn't there, and applauded by the captain, rather Corey Anderson. That's a good shot. He does take the risk and it comes off. Great execution from Duplessis. He's putting in the short delivery in Duplessis' mind and then he's going to pitch it up. Yeah, he did. And Duplessis got him. He hit it back past Tim Southey. So that gamble from McCullum. 
backfired just a tad and after 21 overs it's 85 for two oh just wide of guptal not sure whether he got a little finger on that or not looking at the hand or so he did 24 gone 99 for two hand now expect a lot of variations from Grand Elliot Russo goes down the ground just a reflection of how short that boundary is just, uh, he hit it just straight over his head look to hit it too hard Six runs. In the air, taken, what a catch! He is brilliant, Martin Guptal. Anderson strikes, he has a knack of doing it. Yeah, long arms, got to use them to good effect with the bat the other day. Those long levers powering the ball. This time he sticks out a long right arm and just plucks the ball out of the air. He timed it perfectly. Wasn't really travelling to him. Just a half shot, really, almost like a chop down, and then got to time that leap brilliantly. Just got it in his fingertips, so a good time to take a wicket. It's no bad time, but in the middle of an innings, just as a partnership is going, an especially good time. 114 for three now, South Africa, and Russo gone for 39. South African skipper A.B. de Villiers is the new batsman. Oh my goodness, that is just about dropped straight back down onto the stumps. A successful over for Corey Anderson and New Zealand, 27 goal, 116 for three. Just over mid on. We were running to the deep. It was high on the bat from Duplessis. And they'll come and get a couple. Going back to the Burnham's point. It brings up the 50 for Faf Duplessis. He's superb. He had to be a little bit watchful. But he's dug himself in. And you can see the appreciation from the captain, Abbey de Villiers. There's a few words of congratulations. But says, listen, the job's half done. Down the wicket. Long and straight. And yeah, that is a big one, and a much-needed one for South Africa. We've seen him do it many times in the past. He loves to use his feet and tends to try and play it as straight as possible. That's fine, it's beaten the short man, it's racing away to the ropes and gets there quickly. Bonus boundary here for Faf Duplessis. Wicked and hit strong, and mid-off won't get it. So that's the second boundary in the over. That is another beautiful shot. A.B. de Villiers, he was backing across and he just punched it straight back past the bowler. Yeah, this is class. Mid-on was up and wide. So he just shuffled onto the back foot a little bit and punched it down the ground. Just class batting. It was a good delivery, good length, good line. But that's just class batting from A.B. de Villiers. And another one, off the back foot this time, but it was full. Henry went for a Yorker, and he's paid the price. It'll be interesting to see if McCullum reacts to this and maybe becomes a little bit more defensive in the field. Yeah, so we can see slips now coming out. Another short one. Not quick enough to do that, and he's paid the price. 
Yeah, dealt with superbly by Fuff Duke to see. It's a decent option with the ground as it is and the short straight boundaries. You're going to see a lot of short deliveries from Anderson. It's another short one. It's in the same spot and it's the same result. So Anderson being expensive. And end of the over, 175 for three. Oh, there shouldn't be one there. He will be out. He misses. Shocking call. The run wasn't even on, and that could be a big moment in this semi-final. Billy's has been down. It's like he's got something in his eye. What about the commitment from A.B. de Villiers? Well, he's made it. I can't believe that. Most people would be out by... would have given it up. Williamson misses, but I reckon he was in. Oh, in the gap. Beautifully done. Don't worry about third man. It's only about 40 metres that boundary. Well placed from De Villiers. 184 for three. In the air, dropped him. Oh, it's a big one. AB De Villiers. It was a tough one. It went hard and high to his left, but he put him down. Just slapped a wide ball hard. It's a tough chance. Oh, A.B. De Villiers goes downtown, he's charged him. Is it all the way? Yep. Maximum. Tell you, Warney, I've really enjoyed the last half an hour of cricket chair. The morning two hours is really tense for all of us. Watching them lay a platform, Fuff Duplessis doing the hard yards and setting it up for this period. A lot of fifth over, fifth bowler overs left. Could be carnage out here for the next 15. De Villiers got the gap again. It's more skill through the offside this time. This is dangerous for New Zealand. Again, down the town, yeah, down the ground here. We're just toying with Anderson now, wherever he wants to hit the ball, he's got it. Uh, such an interesting phase in McCullum as a captain. Yeah, he really attacked, all out attack for the first 30 overs. He's left himself in a precarious position here yeah, with the fifth bowler. And someone like A.B. De Villiers set now. Oh, it's in the air. Is it going to land safe? I think it's right in the middle of all three. Can you believe it? three guys it's a small boundary and he's landed it right in the gap oh what a shot that's just great skill he just stayed leg side of the ball a little bit didn't try and over hit it and then just ran it to the boundary just got a matter of getting the gap that's a super shot from De Villiers he looks on today Oof. full and down the ground for four from Plus e. Now he gets in on a two boundaries already from this over. That's a big one. 12 from it. 216 for three. They're going to go, yeah. They're going off. It has just got heavier after their chat and they decided to stay on. It's just got a little bit heavier. Let's hope this goes away quite quickly. So his players are right back on the circle. Here's Anderson with the restart. Villiers straight down the ground. Brilliant fielding, fantastic. What a way to start, Matt Henry. Yeah, that was brilliant. He saved three runs. Well, New Zealand uh, are going to ask for a deflection here. Umpire has uh, given a wide Ian Gould. Well, I'm not quite sure if uh, Luke Ronke is uh, interested in this. Did he think it brushed something? They've still got a review up their sleeve and not many overs to use it. Sorry to have a review for a court behind. Yes, he's gone up, yes. Okay, yeah, can you zoom in on that glove for me, please? Yeah, just rock and roll that for me, please. Let's come back. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go back on field. Okay, Ian, I've got clear evidence the ball has touched the glove. I'd like you to reverse your decision to out. You're on camera. So there it is, you heard the process, and that is the outcome. Fast Duplessy is going to make his way off Eden Park. He never got the chance to restart. It was a brilliant knock, stage one.
but unable to carry on. So he leaves for 82 off 107. Terrific effort that. But South Africa lose their fourth at 217. Here's Anderson. Straight into his work. They'll push for two. They'll run at New Zealand every opportunity. Great placement. Now then, this gets away and Elliot does well. He bats it down and the Villiers will come back for two. Massive shot. He's a strong man. It was a half volley, it's fair to say. Not what McCullum had planned and he goes straight across to Salvi. That'll be four more. Salvi going for width. The wide hole as they call it. And Miller was up to the task. Again, over the top of mid-off, McCullum desperate to get across, couldn't manage it, Salvi has not got it right in this over. McCullum get across, no he can't, it goes under the captain, the fourth boundary in the over. Well the shot boundary is up effort. Straight up, and over, and Ross Taylor will not get that. Straight down the ground for four. That's muscle. Out and out muscle, in fact, as it carried the whole way, maybe. It has. Brute force there. That's at short boundaries here, but that would have gone 69 metres. And that's pure power from David Miller. You can add six to that, and that's a mighty big six. Top deck, top draw. Perfect slot for David Miller. This is exactly where he absolutely loves the deliveries to be bowled. It's a serious shot. Ah, four more. So strong. It's got to think about the field now, Brendan McCullum. Don't have to worry about that. That's gone miles back. Once again in the hitting zone for David Miller. That brings up the 50 partnership between these two of just 24 deliveries. Takes David Miller to 49. Little touch there and he's gone. So the danger man in the second vital period of play disappears, but he gets a handshake from his captain because this has been invaluable hitting from David Miller. Moving down the leg side, just going away from him in a big outside edge. As Ian Smith very rightly said, an invaluable innings. Dismissed for 49. South Africa lose their fifth wicket with just four balls to spare. Could be out. Oh, it's down. Put down. Nathan McCullum. Good pair of hands normally. This time the jump. It's a well, JP Dumini. Don't think he judged the pace. Last ball. The Villiers will be out of his blocks. They'll look for two. The throw's got to go to the keeper's end to get Dumini. Skid throw and Dumini gets back. South Africa finish with a brace and they finish after 43 overs with 281 for five. A terrific effort, especially after the break. Came out fighting and Davy Miller the hero. 10 up front, Cock got off to a bit of a loose shot and then Duplessis consolidated with his 82. Rousseau was pretty good for his 39, and the Villiers superb, 65 from just 45 deliveries, and the cameo from David Miller, 49 from 18, Dermany last four deliveries, managed to contribute eight. And the bowling side of things, well, at times it was under severe pressure. None of them able to bowl a 10 because the reduced innings, of course, three wickets for Anderson, two for Bolt. Oh dear, in the air. Great start, a little bit of shape. Guptill's heart in his mouth and Graham Smith out of his seat after one ball. Easy, big fella. Easy. Oh, extra cover. Half a dozen. Thank you very much, says Brendan McCullum. Got some length and pounced on it.
Swung away for six more. Stayed in his crease this time, McCullum. He's gone leg side as well. Hasn't got it quite as good as the last. One bounce and four. Gets it fine enough, but that'll be four more. 18 runs from the Philander over, 26 without loss. Oh, will he hit? Oh. Great fielding. One run to Guptill. into that strong zone and then McCullum short and wide fielded a deep point for that wow. starts with a boundary good shot from Brendan McCullum oh, timing beautiful timing Martin got to picks up four 14 from the Mornay Morkel over, 46 without loss. Oh dear, that is enormous. You think there was one big one today, earlier? That's about 20 metres further. 50 for New Zealand in just the fifth over. More boundaries here in front, even park, but this would have been six anywhere. Flat, hard, four more. So powerful, Brendan McCullum. Oh, that's over the top. My word. There is no catching that unless you've got an orange shirt on. And 50 for Brendan McCullum in 22 deliveries. As the air got thinner here in Auckland because the ball is sailing to all parts. Brilliant knock from Brendan McCullum. Captain's innings. Oh, certainly under pressure after South Africa's innings with the back end of the ball. South Africa did, did so well with the bat. Now Brendan McCullum has really turned that around, set the tone for his team. Beautiful pull shot over square leg. Sailing into the Eden Park crowd. Oh, Dale Staines lost it there as well. Full toss, leg side. Four more, it's getting away very quickly here. Through the offside this time, four more. Caressed on this occasion. It's a wry smile, but underneath that, the blood is boiling. That's very close. That is very, very close. Rod Tucker says no. Oh, I tell you what, this is hitting a chunk of off stump for mine. Is it hitting enough to overturn it? Not sure. Tahir wants it. He wants it reviewed right now. De Kock says yes, go for it. And De Villiers has. So coming back to you on field, you've, you've got a green for missing. Stay with your not out decision. You're on camera. Out should be taken and will be taken. Dale Stain takes the catch. Game on, Dooley. Yeah, Absolutely. It's good bowling from Monty Morkel and good captaincy and good field placing. Graham Smith's been calling for it. Set normal fields with the third man in the fine leg in place. Encourage him to hit over mid on and mid off. And get hold of it. They'll stay. He'll be relieved with that. He wasn't going to let that go. And you can see the relief in his face. Well, it took one tight over. It was all it took. One tight over. And McCullum succumbed. I know he didn't face it, but he's gone for 59 now. 71 for one.
Croft just hits him. Oh, he's pulled up lame, has he? No, he didn't get it. Maybe he picked it up late, but it's a boundary. That's a great shot. Yep. Wasn't that bad a ball? Yeah, slightly back of a length there from Warner Morco. Kane Williamson is onto it in an absolute flash. In full control, smashing in front of square. Oh, he dragged it down. Oh, that's a bad blow for New Zealand. Morkel does it again. He struck twice. Huge wicket for South Africa. Kane Williams is soon as often the backbone of the New Zealand batting. He gets himself in. Intends to harbour the strike and play superbly. This time he goes for that pull shot again. The bottom edge drags it onto the stumps. And Mornay Morkel is working the trick here for South Africa. His second wicket of the evening. An important one. Williamson has to go. He's got to go for six from 11 deliveries. New Zealand now 81 for two. Oh, Taylor gets it fine. It should run away for four. Yeah, beautifully executed this by Taylor. Taylor gets it. That's what he wants. Whip to get going and he's starting to feel it. Well, here we go. It's in the air. It's going to go all the way for six. Yep, it's a big one. Martin Guptill decides not to let Dumini settle. That brings up the 100 for New Zealand. Looks back and then he looks up. He looks at the shot, feels the timing and then looks up at the end result. Taylor's going to go and Taylor's going to make it. It's pretty quick. That's that straight hitting from Guptill. Just a very orthodox straight drive, but hit with power. Short again, and Taylor pulls in front of Square and pulls well. <sighs> Who is that out there? Is that Miller? Bad luck for Miller. Played brilliantly earlier in the evening. Miller just came in towards the back end of the innings and really gave it some hammer. Guttel has gone, there was hesitation there, Ross Taylor is distraught at the non-striker's end, he can't believe what's just happened, this is a huge moment in the game. In 2011 in Dhaka, it was a run out that put South Africa on the back foot, is it the same here at Eden Park in 2015? Great pressure created from Ty here, swoop from Hashim Amdana, underarm, flick to Dukok, and Guttel way gone. They had a good partnership in Wellington together, Ross Taylor and Martin Guptill, but they did have some hesitation with their running between the wickets. Nearly got run out on a couple of occasions. Tonight, they've had a big blunder here. That's a huge wicket. Guptill, as we all know, is someone that can play that big innings. Look at Dale Stain there, laying down the law. You want your senior players to really stand up in a big game like this. Grant Elliott. That's a beautiful way to get off the mark, isn't it? Ross Taylor's responding in fine style at the moment. 29 to him, 140 for three. What a long way across there. It's almost premeditated. Appeal is gone. South Africa needed wickets. Was a caught behind down the leg side. I thought there might have been a bit of pad in it, but Dominey once again has done it. How big that wicket is. Soft dismissal, going down the leg side, trying to flick it, Ross Taylor. And the wickets we were talking about, the fifth bowler we were talking about. Too many strikes once again. Big nick and a very good catch by Quinton Dickock. You see the jubilation on his face. He knows how important that wicket is. Ross Taylor goes for 30, 149 for 4. That swung back nicely and it's well played from Anderson. Full face of the bat. That'll relieve the pressure. That'll be four. 
one man to beat, he does it easily. Hard sweep, another boundary. Second of the over. Strong line and it deserved the treatment it got. Into the deep, that's six, way back. That's what they need, New Zealand. It has gone a long way back and flat too. Once again, the last ball of the over going for a boundary. Just shot of a length and he just puts it into the stands, as I said. No ground is big enough for him if he hits it. This has gone flat over the square leg boundary. 173 for four. It's four and it's through. It's a half volley. And it's around about the fourth or fifth ball of the over for Melander that normally costs him and it's done it again. Full toss and he puts him straight back into the south stand. It's a free hit for Anderson. On the ground, 196 for four is the score. Handsome stroke by Elliott. Not sure how well timed this is. AB's the man who's after it. He is lightning quick across the field. Good running in the end it was by Anderson. Goes hard again, must field, and the Villiers are so disappointed that they pick up a single. This has been a decent over. Oh, here's a chance. If he hits, he's gone. Oh, has he hit the stumps? I don't think he had the ball. Is that AB to Villiers? I'm sure he did it so well to get to the stumps. I just wonder, because he came in so quickly, all his momentum, I think, might have broken the stumps. Two bales are off. Yeah, just play it right through, bales are off. Yeah, OK, it's not out, load not out. Guides it down and it's beaten more than Morkel. Morkel can't stop it. And what was a great over, suddenly... A four off the last ball, it's 208 for four. Smashed for four. Oh, he's hit that hard. Now then, there's no one out there, and that has just been helped on its way for six. Goes over extra. A.B. de Villiers is the fielder. And it's going to be four, he can't stop it from rolling onto those boundary cushions. Gets it through, Anderson. Anwar's despairing dive is not good enough. Anderson down the ground. You'll just get one, but it does give him 50. Outstanding. Young man, under pressure, coming up trumps. Beautiful shot. Lovely piece of timing over the top for Grant Elliott, and he has 50 as well. Superb. Cool head. Yeah, he's looked the calmest man in the stadium. That's what's been impressive about Elliott's half-century tonight. The way he's constructed his innings under enormous pressure. That's away. He didn't time it perfectly, but he got the gap. And that's four more to Anderson. 37 gone, and it's now 251 for four. Oh, straight up. Straight up. Who's underneath it? Oh, he's taken it. He's got it. Yeah, he has. Faf Duplessis. He held his nerve. And Anderson's fight, his brilliant fight, has come to an end. He settled himself. It was in the lights. Took an excellent catch. A 
That's gone. That's gone. Way back. Wow. Oh, God, Elliot. That'll run away. That could run for four. That will run for four. Nice piece of timing from Luke Ronke. Yeah, nothing wrong with the delivery at all from Imran Tahir. He's bowled a good over here. This was a good ball. Oh, that could be out. Should be out. That's out! Stain gets the breakthrough, and Ronke is gone. Could have hit it anywhere. Who's 69 for six? Ronke gone for eight. Might get two, and might get two. I think they will get two. Oh, direct hit was a no. The stumps line up. I think the clock has knocked the bales off. The throw must have been also close. South Africa aren't interested, and Elliot was struggling. And they've done it, and Vittori could be out. Oh. <laughs> 275 for six. Oh, Elliot's gone high. High, it's going to hit ground, is it? It's going to hit ground, it is! Oh, there was a fielder coming in and one running back. He gets it away through down score. Oh, Stain does beautifully. Dale Stain, he beauty. South Africa, great commitment, bad hamstring and all. Magnificent commitment here, flinging himself to his right. shot oh it's gone up now someone's got to get to this surely someone's got to get to it oh they've knocked it up oh no New Zealand don't want to run it's calamity out there they missed the run New Zealand looking at what was going on Morkel's finished panic in the outfield he's no idea that Bahadine is there and he closes down on him Here we go, Dale Stain, six deliveries, Daniel Vittori on strike. He plays and misses, Elliot runs the bye, beautifully done. The main man is on strike. Elliot hits, has he hit a gap? No, he hasn't hit a gap. Wonderfully cut off again, South Africa inside the circle and making it so hard. Oh, he's hit a gap. He's hit a four. Daniel Vittori has pissed the finest of gaps. And New Zealand may have their nose in front again. Six from three, five to tie. Here's Stain. It's six from three, five for a tie. Oh, playing a miss. Elliot runs through. They're going to have to run him out. They miss. A valuable run, and Elliot is back on strike. Five from two. Five from two to win the game. A boundary will tie it. That's what it's come down to, folks. They want Elliot to have one. They're happy for him to have one. Does he take the one? Oh, he might not want to take the one. He might just say, give me two balls to win this game or tie it. Here we go. Dale Stain. Elliot on strike. Elliot hits it up into the grandstand, and New Zealand are in the World Cup final. Grant Elliot, Superman. South Africa despair. They're down on their knees. New Zealand goes wild. They're making the trip for the big prize. Second dramatic match here at Eden Park.
It's Kane Williamson who finished it with a six against Australia. Grant Elliott this time. Utter despair for South Africa, who have played a full part in what has been a magnificent game of cricket. There is a winner and there is a loser, as there always is in sport, but what a game South Africa have played here tonight. Haven't been helped by the conditions and the weather, but New Zealand, New Zealand and Grant Elliott. Grant Elliott takes them home. Yeah, Mornay Morkel, nothing to be sorry about. Played superbly here tonight, bowled magnificently throughout. Led that pace attack from the front. Desperate, desperate scenes, desperate moment for him. For Brendan McCullum, has New Zealand worldwide? He said, New Zealand, dare to dream, dare to dream. The dream is still alive. Greatness is contagious. This was greatness today, and cricket was great today. Fantastic occasion. So South Africa, their 281 adjusted on the Duckworth Lewis system, meant New Zealand had to get 298 to win. They get 299 for six. They beat them by four wickets under the Duckworth Lewis system. And yes, Grant Elliott, he'll get the headlines tomorrow, and so he should, 84 not out. Amazing scenes here. Absolutely amazing scenes at the Garden of Eden.